In this tutorial, we'll set up and solve a set of linear equations in Python. So for a basic linear equation, let's say 3x minus 9 equals 0, we know how to solve that, uh, 3x equals 9 and x equals 3. But let's say we had uh, two equations and two unknowns instead. So let's say 3x minus 9y equals minus 42, and then we have 2x plus 4y um, equals 2. Okay, so what we can do is put this into matrix form. And so I'll just put 3 minus 9, 2, and 4, and then multiply by x and y. And then the right-hand side, minus 42 and 2. Okay, so this is going to become our A vector, or A matrix, um, Z, and then equals B. And so one way to solve this is just Z equals A inverse times B. So we're going to use Python to um, set up and solve this. So first thing I'll do is go ahead and just open up an IPython notebook. Okay, so new IPython notebook. It'll just start up and then start a web browser. And then I'll implement and solve this with just a couple commands. So I'll go to my Python notebook, uh, select new and Python notebook. Um, okay, so the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and just set up. Um, let me have this visible over here, uh, this matrix that we want to set up and solve. Okay, and so the first thing um, that may, we might want to do is just go ahead and input our A and B vectors. Uh, but before we do that, we'll go ahead and import uh, NumPy as NP. Okay, and then the next thing uh, that we'll do is just create a new array. Um, so to do that, use np.array. And then we'll need to uh, put each row in separate uh, square brackets. So the first row uh, is going to be 3, comma, negative 9. And separate these by uh, commas. And then have 2 and 4. OK, so that'll be our, um, our A matrix. So we'll just set that equal to A. OK. And let me go ahead and just print um, uh, A, just so we can see what it uh, what it looks like. Okay, so there we have our matrix A. The next thing we want to do is create our vector B. We'll do that same thing with the array um, NumPy function, uh, but in this case, it's just going to be a column vector. Okay, so um, let's see. That's just going to be negative 42 and 2. Okay, now we can just use the uh, NumPy. Uh, let's just go ahead and have this be our solution Z. Um, and so this is going to be NumPy.LinAlg, or Linear Algebra, um, dot solve. Okay, so we're going to use the Linear Algebra package of NumPy and use the solve command with um, A and B as our arguments for that. Okay, and then if I print um, Z, then I can see the solution to that. Okay, so now what I want to do is um, just augment this with um, just, well, let's just do an example with uh, three variables and uh, three equations, and I'll see if you can do it in Python, and then we'll finish the video after, video after a slight pause. Okay, so this is an example for you to try out. Um, I'll have 3x minus 9y equals minus 42. And then a, um, actually, let me do a different one here. Um, I'll change this one. Let's do x minus 2y minus z equals negative, equals uh, positive 6. Okay, and then we have 2 times x plus 2 times y equals z plus 1. And then 2 times z uh, minus 1 equals y plus x. 
Okay, so three equations, three unknowns. Uh, the first thing that we'll need to do is just put this into matrix form, and then we can set it up and solve it in Python. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pause here, just put it into matrix form, go ahead and set it up and solve it with Python. Okay, let's go ahead and complete the rest of this. Um, I'm just going to uh, bring all of the variables uh, onto one side and all of the coefficients onto the other side. Uh, so I'll have one, negative two, negative one, and then six, uh, two, two, negative one, and one. And then I'll have negative one, negative one, two, and positive one. Okay, so this is going to be our matrix that we're going to set up in Python. I'll make this just a little bit smaller and move it over here so we have room for our browser. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and, and just create a new matrix. I'll just call this one M. And um, we'll just have NumPy uh, array and then... Um, in this case, we're going to have three rows. Um, so I'm going to create a um, nested brackets there. Two, one, uh, negative two, negative one. And then our next one is going to be two, uh, two, negative one. And then our final one will be negative one, negative one, and two. Okay, don't forget the closing parentheses there. Okay, so there I'll print uh, M just so we can uh, look at the value here. Okay, so those values and it looks uh, to be correct. And then I'm going to create a, um, let's just say this is C, um, array just with our three values. Okay, so the final thing that I need to do then is um, just go ahead and use my um, my linear algebra package and I'll use the solve command with my first argument being M and the second one being C. Okay, and then I'll print uh, the value of Y. Okay, so there's the solution uh, to this set of linear equations.